Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my iced coffee with all of you. It's going to be another scorcher today, and then comes the rain. So, um, I need to do a couple things. I need to gather more wood, and I have an idea for that shelf. So, I'm just going to try and do it, and see if I can do it. When I was putting the jars up on the shelf, I felt, oh gosh, you know what, these could slide off pretty easily. So, I was thinking of a way to make a little lip. And that's what I did. I got some wood. Actually, this piece of wood right here, uh, Donna B's daughters, Christina and Pamela, they each got me a walking stick. And yeah, I cut one of them up. I just screwed it onto the edge of the shelf so that it would create just a little bit of a barrier. And yup, it has moss. It has lichen on it. And I love it. It looks gorgeous. And I hung the little utensil hanger upper thingy, <laughs> the little rack, um, and just put a few things up there, the things that I use the most. But, you know what, I, I think it looks great, and I'm likely to do the other shelves just like this. Well, it looks like my favorite mushroom tree has finally fallen down. Look at this, these are a few days old. Oh, I wish I could have seen them in their heyday. <sighs> Too bad. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep, yep. I'm harvesting these. I don't care how many ants are on them. Oh my gosh. So you guys remember this tree right here? It was on this, going down like this, and it constantly spawns all kinds of oyster mushrooms. Oh boy. Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Can you see that? Oh my lord. Look at how big they are. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm gonna put these in some water just to get all the bugs out because there's a bunch of ants and stuff in them. But you know I'm cooking these for dinner tonight. Oh yes. There's a lot of wood out here that has been falling. Um, this will never be cut because this is my mushroom tree. <laughs> But uh, I just kind of stack them up over it. Uh, decent size, so I got to get to cutting and gathering more. I'm just tired today. What is wrong with me? Yeah, there's some more wood over there. I mean, there is literally wood all over this property laying on the ground. So I just need to gather it. I would like to cut down a tree or two but I need a chainsaw and somebody who knows how to use it. <laughs> uh, a big chainsaw. Well, looky here. Huh, little pawpaw mushrooms. What do you want to bet that they are not white on the inside? Let me go put these other mushrooms down and I'm gonna come check these out. Look at the inside of that. Looks like it has little seeds. <laughs> Definitely not an edible puffball. And there's the small one. So I'm going to take these and put them where the chickens don't go so they, they don't have, they're not tempted to eat this yucky stuff. I just rinsed them off and they're all clean. No more bugs in them. I just put them under running water, kind of like down like that, and let the bugs wash out of the gills. And I'm just letting them dry off a little bit on this paper towel. In a minute here, I'm going to go ahead and put them into a brown paper bag and then put them in the refrigerator. And I will likely fry at least one of them up tonight. Maybe stir fry. Oh, well, I got some kindling, a kindling box, larger logs in here that are too, really too small to go out on the wood pile. I've still got that to process and all of this I cut up. I think this is going to go out on the wood pile, but for right now I'm just going to leave it in here because I have to tell you. I don't feel good, you guys. There is something wrong with me. I have no energy, and I have been feeling sick to my stomach. And I felt that way before I started doing all this. But there's a good bit of wood left to process. Um, I don't even think I'm going to split any of this, because this one looks pretty big. But I think it's an okay size log just to leave it as is. So, yeah. That'll go out there. Um, 
I'm going to do the rest of this another day because I am just not feeling good today, guys. I do think I want to go see what uh, Miss Pris Fancy Pants is doing with her baby chickens. She's had them out in the yard all day. And um, <laughs> they're just getting bigger and cuter every single day. She's mostly been keeping them in the yard. But... Look at that blonde one. Let me see if I can get in closer. Look at the color on its wings. It looks like it's going to be barred. And the two ones with the white spots, I'm thinking they're going to be barred rock roosters. And the rest of them, some of their faces are just, oh my gosh, so cute. Look at that blondie one. Look at that. That's going to be a beautiful chicken. These are all going to be beautiful. Whoops. Sorry about that. My filming is not good today. It hasn't been for the last couple of days. I need to clean that water out yet again. You know what, you guys? I think that this is going to be it for me today. Yep. I got to shut her down, go lay down, do something. I just can't stop looking at this little blondie. <laughs> I can't wait to see it grow up. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.